Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Charles Sabansu, and welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and when we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And today, we got a pretty interesting show, but before we even get into it, uh, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. And also, if you're not following us, following us on the Dreamers Pro Podcast, be sure to do that. We have that linked in the comment section below. You can follow us on uh, Spotify or iTunes if you want today's full show. So anyway, uh, I can't even believe we're, I can't even believe we're here. Right, because I thought this was a topic that we had already concluded upon. But if you guys remember about, let me say a month or so ago, Noah Lyles, American Sprint uh, track star, he went out there and won the 100 meters, I think, in the world champion uh, world championships. And he went to the he went to, he was talking in the press, and he basically took it upon himself to basically take some shots at NBA players. Not shots. Um, there were comments that were that could be perceived as shots, but he was really telling the truth. But he had some uh, comments that were targeted towards NBA players, which was essentially this. I'm going to paraphrase quickly. He was essentially saying that he can't stand when NBA players call themselves the world champions, right? Because they're not competing against other countries and he doesn't see any of these guys wearing flags on their chest or their backs or whatever it is whenever they whenever they win a championship, right? So he put out those comments and those comments sparked a lot of controversy to the point where it caused some current active NBA players to actually take to social media uh, and call him out on his comments. And in this case, they were actually commenting on the post that he put up. And some prominent names, some big names were comment, uh, commenting on what he had to say. For example, let me read with some of these things, some of the things that they had to say. KD said, somebody help this brother. UD40, big fan, but going with that BS, bruh. Sucker, you know what? Draymond Green always had to chime in. When being smart goes wrong. Kendrick Perkins jumped in. Put his brain in a bird and the bird will start flying backwards. PJ Tucker. Can't make this bleep up. Aaron Gordon. Whatever. I'm smoking buddy in a 200 meter. Austin Rivers. Simply put, best players in the world play in the league. So winning an NBA championship qualifies as world champs. I don't know what's more cringe. His comments or his voice and delivery. Another person. Tyler Hero. The NBA is the best league in the world. That's why... The champs are world champs. And De'Aaron Fox, he said, why bro care so much? I find it fun that he uses the uses the term, what hurts me the most. It's funny, not that serious, big dog. So that's what he had to say. So he said that and uh, it sparked this big conversation in media. We all covered it. You had people out there like Stephen A. Smith jumping out the window, basically calling his comments ignorant. Then the following day, he had to walk it back when somebody pulled out a map and started explaining geography to him. To us here, we actually thought that this was a very rudimentary uh, issue. We didn't think it was anything complicated. We didn't think we needed to organize a G20 summit to figure this thing out. We thought it was quite quite simple. Uh, the NBA is a, is, is a league like their other leagues, and that league is hosted in the United States. Uh, it's comprised of international players, quite obviously. But uh, whenever the Los Angeles Lakers, to give you an example, win the championship, America does not win the championship. It's only the city of L.A. It's not New York. It's not it's not Texas. It's not Florida. It's not uh, Massachusetts. It's just L.A. Now, so whenever and then whenever you have uh, American players go and compete in a FIBA games, that's an international competition because you have country versus country. We thought that this was simple. And we weren't the only ones that thought that this was simple. As a matter of fact, it turns out that league MVP, defensive player of the year, an NBA champion, an NBA finals MVP, Giannis Antetokounmpo actually sided with Noah Lyles with some of his comments about it. So let me read some of the comments from SI.com that Giannis Antetokounmpo had to make about this. The article uh, starts off saying, American track and field champion Noah Lyles guarding the, back uh, the backing of Milwaukee Bucks superstar Giannis Antetokounmpo. Giannis expressed his support for Noah's viewpoint, highlighting that the NBA champion should refrain from labeling themselves as world champions. I wanted to back him up so bad, you know, Giannis uh, said. He received so much backlash for saying, like, the obvious. Continues on. You know what hurts me the most is what Noah Lau said, uh, is when I have to watch the NBA Finals and they have world champion on their head. World champion of what? The United States, don't get me wrong, I love the US at times, but that ain't the world, Lau's uh, said. Then Giannis took his, his point a step further. The, the article says, Giannis's argument. Giannis, though, sided with Lau, saying it's only the NBA that calls itself champions, world champions. Other leagues, such as UEFA Champions League, simply call their winners champions. I don't think any other sports sport you you are called the world champions you know like in soccer 
which is way bigger than the NBA, more popular than the NBA, win the Champions League, the UEFA Champions League, you know, champions, Giannis uh, said, and then he pretty much, uh, those are pretty much his comments. So what happened? This morning, uh, I was doing research and I came across an article via fadeawayworld.net. And they were essentially highlighting some comments that Damian Lillard, who's been in the news because he's been trying to get moved from, from Portland, you know, the whole issue with him going to Miami, and then he only listed one team that he wants to go to, gave the team no flexibility, and then here's, he finds himself in a quandary there. So anyway, you had Damian Lillard, and he was on a podcast, right? Let me just see if I can quickly uh, verify the name of the podcast that he went on. I think it was a podcast that was affiliated with No Jumper. At least I've seen some people on there. The name of the podcast is back on fig back on fig that's the name of the podcast so they're up there it's a pretty long show and they're talking about a bunch of things if you go watch you see all the different timestamps, and they're talking about various things so anyway uh it gets to a point where i believe the host asked uh, reads a question maybe from the audience uh, about this very issue here which is what is damian lillard's take on noah Lau saying this right now remember damian lillard is coming in on the backhand of all of this because all those other uh, other NBA players have commented. Giannis Antetokounmpo commented. So now Damian Lillard is, is chiming in. So what we want to do is want to quickly play what Damian Lillard had to say about this conversation. And then we're going to come back and, um, you know, give you guys our thoughts on what he had to say. Take a listen to that there. Are the NBA champs world champs? Oh, oh that's say? a good one. Are the NBA champions world champions? Because, you know, Man, you the NBA it. champs is world champs. I've been seeing everybody because they lost in the World Cup. Everybody like, oh, see, we told you. But like the best players in the world play in the NBA. All the best players in that tournament play in the NBA. If you take the best team in the NBA and just send them on a tour to play in the best leagues everywhere else, they getting smoked. For sure getting smoked. Take the best players from the NBA and put them in every league and against all the best teams, whatever, they're getting smoked. Bro, they just had, what, Dennis Schroeder win MVP or some crazy Oh, shit. yeah. The, the, I mean, that's all I'm saying. All I'm saying is I'm like, hell no. All yeah. those players, <laughs> if you take those players off of their countries, yeah. they play in the NBA. They come to it, too. They come to the NBA from these countries. So that's, to me, that makes the NBA world champions. If y'all best players come play in this league, like, I don't understand what the debate is. Like, that to me, that's... Look at... When they had the best players on Team USA, go look at the the Dream Team, and obviously players from overseas, Mike like Green. European players, is way better. Right now, Look at the sure. Redeem Team. But the scores is crazy. Like, when they actually put the team Very together nice. with the best players and really just locked in... It like, was going crazy. I feel like it'd be the same thing, honestly. And even if they... Even if another country did win it, I still feel like if you win in the NBA, world champions. Like, this is the best league in the world. The best players from every country come play in this league. So, so you heard what Damian Lillard had to say. Here's what I think. I think that Damian Lillard's logic is not... I can understand where he's coming from. Because he's looking at it from this standpoint. Wait a minute. In the United States, or at least in the NBA, it has teams that are comprised of some of the best NBA players in the world. Some NBA players that go and compete in these world games, or some of these players that go compete in these world games are actually players that play in the NBA. So he said, now imagine if we put together an amalgamation of some of our best players and go out there and play, we would destroy. And that is true to a certain extent. Here's the other side of it, though. There were NBA players that play in the European League that were doing fantastically well. I'll give you an example. Luka Doncic. Luka Doncic was unstoppable in the Euro League, and he came into the NBA and did the same. The, there's another thing that I want to point out and maybe something that Damian Lillard is missing. From every account that I've come across, I have heard that the international game is harder because the regulations are totally different, to be quite honest with you. And some NBA players struggle adapting 
to the Euro game. Not that they can't adapt, but initially they struggle. So if you were to take some of the best players in the world, let's talk about the A, A plus guys. There may be a learning curve for those guys. But if you take those guys, although they're NBA players, but they're coming from Europe and these other places, you bring them into the NBA. They've already been conditioned uh, in those leagues. So the NBA game becomes kind of easy. That's why you see right now in the NBA is being dominated by foreign players. I would say four, four out of the five player, best players in the NBA are all foreign. Four out of the five. You can pick them. You have Nikola Jokic. You have Giannis Antetokounmpo. You th- I will sprinkle in Stephen Curry in that top five. Some people say it's KD. Good. So you have Stephen Curry. Um, you're going to put KD above Joel Embiid. And then, of course, you have Luka Doncic. You can make an argument. They're four of the best players in the world out of five of foreign players. And you can make an even stronger argument that the three best players playing in the NBA today are all international players. So to go back to Damian Lillard's point, it's it's going to be tough to sell that given the fact that we just sent an NBA team or a team full of American players that play in the NBA to the World Games and they lost. They didn't even medal. He also brought up the point, you see how we were killing when we sent our best team with the Redeem team. Yes, the Redeem team did, did very well and they went undefeated. However, uh, in that championship game, it wasn't a walk in the park. And if it wasn't for some clutch play by Kobe Bryant, Dwayne Wade, and these guys, they don't win that tournament. If you look at the 2021 championship, they only won that champion, excuse me, the Olympics. They only won that Olympics, I believe, by two or four or five points or something like that. You can't call that a beat down or we beat them up. But I do understand his point about if you just airdropped all of the NBA players in the NBA to those leagues, would they dominate? I believe he has a very good argument that they could if they played there for some time. However, that's not how it works. And ultimately, it still doesn't change the fact that the NBA is a national competition. Although it may be comprised of some of the best players in the world, it's still a national competition. And if you want to view it that way, then you have to remove some of those players that came from Europe when you're talking about the NBA. You can't have Giannis, you can't have Nikola Jokic, you can't have Joel Embiid, you can't have uh, uh, Jamal Murray and so many other players. But I understand this point. I don't agree with it, but I see where he's coming from. So what I want to know from you guys is what do you think about Damian Lillard's argument? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. We'll catch you guys on the next show. Peace.